Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. As you can see, we're right here where we left off. Now, I want to update, or I want to um, address some issues about my previous upload. I know it was a little bit jumpy on YouTube. Whenever I uploaded it, it, uh, it did something to the file. I could watch it here on my computer and it's perfectly smooth and fine. But when I uploaded it to YouTube, there was a couple jumps here and there. It wasn't as high quality as it should be. I mean, I'm recording in 1080p by 720, and, you know, I don't know why, I mean, everything's high quality, everything's smooth, everything I do, I want to be the best, you know, just to give you guys a watchable product, so I'm going to have to rethink how I upload these, rethink how I encode them, and do all that, so, yeah, and without further ado, let's just go on and start our journey here. So, if you remember last episode, we was in the town of Xanarkand, and it got attacked by Sin. Now, we are Lord knows where, because Sin took us. So, you know, we're just going to fill it out. I, of course, know what happens, because I've done played through this game about five different times. But I'm trying to keep it a mystery for all you guys who's never played it. Which probably, you know, if you're watching this, probably, you know, not many people have not played it, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's just head on, head on through. So we got a save point here. Let's go ahead and save it. So there we go. One thing about Final Fantasy, it always has the best sound. I think this has definitely one of the best soundtracks of the entire Final Fantasy series. Um, I thought there was a oh yep there it is. I knew there was a chest out here. High potion. That's very useful. But yeah, I think Final Fantasy X has the best, if I mean, one of the best, if not the best, soundtracks of all the Final Fantasy game series. Um, Final Fantasy VII had some amazing music too. But uh, this music's just on a different level. I think, um, if I can remember the composer's name... Nobu, I think is his last name. I think, I'm, I'm like I said, I think I'm not, I'm not sure, but he did a, an amazing job on all the music. So, I think it's definitely one of the highest, or definitely one of the high points of the game is the music, the graphics, the gameplay, the storyline has some, some like plot holes here and there, and it has some some random stuff that really isn't isn't too good, but all Final Fantasies have that. So let's head into our first real battle by ourselves. Let's go ahead and boom! Overkill. This guy's just gonna you know give us a little love tap here. That guy missed completely. Good job there guy. Boom. I do plan on um playing this through the whole game and like I said before this game is very long I'm not exactly sure how many hours long the campaign is on average I could look it up for you here and I'll give you an estimate next episode but yeah right now I know this game is incredibly long boom now this enemy I always had a problem with it because I'm um, not fighting it or anything, but if he swallowed us, we would just go down to his cage belly, which we can cut our way out. Now, right. Am I right? <laughs> All right, now, this guy's actually our first main boss battle, I guess you could... And um, Titus is facing the wrong way. For some reason. Okay, that that's weird. And now he's facing the wrong way. Okay, so we got a little bit of glitchiness going here. We're going to use an item... Let's use a regular potion on ourselves. I, again, I don't know why we're facing the wrong way. Hopefully it'll be all fixed up by the time we have the next battle. What are you doing, bro? Oh, he's gonna eat me. Swim, Titus, swim! Now, I don't remember if this is a scripted battle, if we're supposed to lose. I don't think we are, but oh well. 
Swim. Swim. Swim for your life. Oh, gosh. I don't care if I asked. Click on that. Oh, my God. Okay, so that didn't take long now, did it? All right, again, I want to mention, if you haven't watched the first episode, I highly suggest that you go watch the first episode. And um, I'm just going to say, a lot of people call him Titus, but I call him Titus. I just, I think it, I, I just think it sounds better. Here, let's listen. I thought I was going to die in this place. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, I call him Titus. Like I said, I know a lot of people call him Titus for some reason. It's just, I guess it's just how you interpret it. Because they never really say his name. I mean, they give you an option at the start to keep his name or change it. I mean, you could turn him, change it to complete and total scrub lord if you wanted to. But um, I didn't. I called him Titus. So without names, or without that, you know, or with that out of the way, we could finally focus on what we're doing. I'm actually going to be him for Halloween this year, I think. I mean, look at look at how awesome he dresses. I mean, over here in America, especially where I'm from in West Virginia, if I walk down the street or if I go to my local subway, um, <laughs> then, you know, I'd probably get looked at pretty weird. But I think over in Japan, if I wore it, I would probably look, or I'd probably, like, you know, I might have a uh, a fan or two be like, hey, because I do have hair like Titus's. <laughs> well, I used to. So, all right, we need um, we need some fire material. I cannot remember how we go about getting it. I know we need flint. We need uh, some tinder, such as um, like some wood. Oh, there it is. Withered bouquet. Uh, Titus, I got got some news for you that really ain't gonna last very long if you if you want to make a big fire. But you know, oh well. Oh, cool. What did we get? New sword. Nope, another high potion. Uh, all right. So, like I said, I'm I'm not really exactly sure how or where to get this, because the last time I played it was back when, you know, I actually played my PS2, like, every day, and that's been a while since I've had my Xbox for, like, seven, eight years now. No, I've had the Xbox since launch, so, whenever launch was. Uh, let's go in here. There's a little bit of camera issues sometimes, like here, I can't really change around the camera, but that's fine with me. Um, can't go that way. Oh wait, this is where we came from. Damn it, Cody. Titus is gonna freeze to death, it's gonna be my fault. All right, we've been over there, we've been in there. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh. I thought we can go ahead and put place the bouquet down. Creepy statue. Hey there, creepy statue, man. Let's go over here. Oh, that's our save point. Can we... Okay, we can go in this door. And, uh, oh, examine it. Yeah! Got some flint. I uh, can't really go anywhere else, so... I reckon we'll go back and start this fire. Titus didn't start the fire. So that fire just kind of took life like really fast. It was like, and the look on Titus's face seemed like it was a damn explosion. Uh oh.
again, the graphics. I know. The graphics of this game compared to other PS2 games are. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Right, little shit bag. Alright, so I will tell you this. I will be a total scrub lord. I will be scrubbing it up noob style at the beginning because I have, like I said, I haven't played this game in forever, so. <laughs> what you see is what you get, I guess. Is that thing? It's like a weird amphibious lizard beast. Bring it on, butt fucker. If uh, memory serves right, this guy does have uh, quite a bit of HP. I wish I had my skills unlocked, but I don't, because. That Titus is kind of a scrub noob right now. Boom. That was a good hit. What the hell? <laughs> you gotta love these guys. kind of weird g-string thong kind of deal must be incredibly uncomfortable all right i know her name already but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna um say it because i'm you know i use go question mark question mark question mark question mark boom Okay, maybe I better not do that anymore. <laughs> again. Oh, damn it. I was going to use grenades again. Um, let's go use another grenade on him. Granada. 333, that's pretty... Let's steal from him. Stole a grenade? Hell yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to steal. I just want to use that grenade I stole. There we go. The backwards-facing monster is, again, dead. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to turn it up slightly here for you. There's that thong again, which, again, looks incredibly uncomfortable. He's like, whoa, a chick. That was close. Hey, let me go. Whoa now. That one dude is wearing assless chaps. A friend, friend. No, she's not a traitor. Yes, take me to Frederick. Ouch. <laughs> Something I do remember is um, you could actually learn the ability to speak that language throughout the 
throughout the game, the more you speak to people, the more you can speak that language. I think that's really cool. As you can see in that cutscene, uh, one word was purple, and that was friend. We are more and more words will turn purple and they will get translated for us. I do believe if memory serves correct, that's how it works. Yeah, give me up, you know. What is it? The goggles? I said I don't understand. Hey! You said you could say this to make yourself useful. You you understand me? Cool. Ouch. So now we are like a bitch on this pirate ship. Oh, almost forgot. Spear grid. Finally, we could learn some abilities and stuff. Uh, so the spear grid is basically like a. It's a skill grid, you know. And uh, whenever we progress through levels, we can get more. Um, more skill orbs, I think. Let's go ahead and move. I know how to do this. I'm not... And different skill orbs have different skills. So, I mean, you can't use a level 1 skill orb on a level 5 skill. It just... Um, I know how it works. <laughs> yes, I know. Damn. Damn. And here we got like power sphere, mana sphere, speed. Different types of spear on the different uh, types of attacks to get different attacks. I do believe, like I said, it's been a while since I played it, but that's how I reckon it works. I guess we'll learn, learn on our way. At least we got some jamming ass music. This is a Final Fantasy VII track. Alright, we uh, learn cheer, which raises the morale of our troops. Or troops, I say people in my party. Use this information to plan how you wish to up. Press L1 and R1 to switch between characters. And this is like a never ending freaking grid. Look how ginormous this grid is. And that's not even the half of it. Oh, I, uh... Um... One second. Okay, I want to say something. I to have turned on something that was kind of stupid of me to turn on. But I finally figured out how to do it. It took me like 15 minutes to figure out how to turn it off. But hell, I turned it off. Cool. Alright, so, um... Like I said, this is what we have. Um, the more we pick up these books of the Albed language, the more language we can learn and thus translate it. Okay, so that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, don't quite remember. Oh, okay. See, there's an A that we just now learned. Ready to work. There we go. Always trying to be the coolest dude in school, right? Now, if you guys didn't know that um, that 
this game and Final Fantasy VII are actually in the same gaming universe. That uh, these two games are closely connected. Let's go underneath the water. But yeah, I mean, you could look it up. There is documentation of um, both of these. Well, one swipe just killed all those piranha fish. But there's documentation of how this game is connected to. Oops. What did I do? We'll go as soon as you're ready. Uh, okay. I don't know what I have. Or I pressed the X. Oh. Return to ship. Okay. Do not do that. Um, yeah, there's documentation of these two games being related. Like, they're in the same universe. Not quite the same timeline. But... I'm gonna steal. Cool, stole grenade. Wow, I can't believe I didn't kill them. There we go. Yeah, I think, um... I don't know what... I don't know what, um... Or who did some documentation about it on YouTube, but there is videos out there of these two games being... And throughout the game, you will see kind of throwbacks to Final Fantasy VII and hints that these they are indeed um, indeed uh, what's the word I'm looking for connected. This guy's gonna attack her. Her name will still be question mark question mark question mark for a little while. So we're getting some more spears, some speed speed spears, and some other shot like that. We can barely see our character. All right, so we are going to save it while we're down here. Uh, please save yes Oops. there we go um, save as much as possible you always want to do that yeah cuz that's gonna work and it did wow amazing like <laughs> that We got fishes. Preemptive strike. These guys ain't really too bad, so we could just cut through these guys like it's nothing. Like a hot knife through butter. Or a heart sword through piranha flesh. Again, Tyson just beating on shit. But apparently it works. So a pro tip from Titus. If your computer's not working, just hit it a couple times. Just punch it as, as much as you can. As hard as you can. Okay, so there's that. Let's get on back out of here. Let's float up a little bit. Oh shit. Octopus man. That's why I was or that's why I was stealing so much is to get um some more Whatchamachaller. Um grenades. Throw them nades, woman. Out of 
range attack. That's great. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press over to the commands. Stand by. Oh, shit. No. Stand by here, gain a little bit of HP until he decides to come around and just blast the absolute shit out of us. Um, we don't have any grenades. I'm just going to steal. use that grenade on them because the grenades do a shit ton of damage <sighs> again he's gonna do this shit right, so what I'm gonna do is actually do an item to her almost said her name there and then I'm going to use another item on Titus here attack okay so here's the pincer attack going around yeah what are you going to do now octopus oh he's going to do that um, I'm going to steal couldn't steal anything that's shitty he's going to use tentacles on her like in a Japanese kind of movie uh, I don't really want to say what but She's a little bit useless when it comes to regular attack. I mean, she only does 59 damage each time. Uh, use that grenade. Boom! That is a ton of damage. And he's shitting out some kind of... Oh, there we go. We freed his soul to go on to peace. Wasn't too bad. No items found. We did to get a little bit of gill, which is... um. Always want to heal up before you do anything else because you know can, some crazy shit can happen and you don't want your guys low health at all. So yeah. Ah gosh, you guys remember when circles were like octagons? Yeah, them were the good old days. Right, guys? There's a another dude just swimming. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get some crazy stuff like that happening, and I'm going to say sorry early. So... Okay, so we got past that part. Nothing too big. We had to fight an octopus guy. It's alright. I think he said a fucking airship. Look at that shit. We're still getting treated like a dog. Don't get me wrong, 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 but I'm 
sick as a dog. Sick as a dog. Hungry. That's an awesome song. Damn. Didn't have to kick me. Right on, bro. Sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. Titus doesn't talk like that. I mean, dude, slow down. <laughs> now, would it? Riku. You really do understand. <laughs> Titus just is acting like he smoked a a whole bunch of gank just now. Some Arabian crumb to get my drift. Cause it gets you so stuck. Two of his ass shot there. I'm a blitz ball player. <laughs> Star player of the Zanarkin Apes. Did you hit your head or something? She has no fucking idea what you're talking about, dude. Um, you guys hit me. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? Go on, tell your story. I know you want to. just on a really long acid trip. <laughs> Butthole toxin. Well, it's because Titus is like a thousand and twenty one years old. Damn shit. I hope you guys didn't see that on the film. What do you mean? A thousand years ago. But I saw Sin attack Sanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way. I wouldn't be uh, arguing with the girl that, you know. Like has a gun or the We're going to overwrite. And then we're going to talk to Riku again. You said Yeah. Yeet. You play Blitzball? Yeet. Uh huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Thousand years old, I doubt it. Okay, leave it to me. You stay here? Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Xanarkin looked, it looked more like 
Las Vegas and there was a, probably a whole bunch of sin going on. That's why sin attacked the damn place. I don't think it's very holy, if you know what I mean. See, even Titus thinks it. Since when? Yeah, but we then I can go back in a day or two. Nope. But a thousand years into the future? Yep. No way. <clears throat> Good job there, butt fucker. That wasn't Titus's fault, as you can see. It was the Kraken! Release the Kraken! Holy jeez. And there I go again. There he goes again on his own. Yes, we will save it. It should say inside sin's anus. Unknown C. Okay, that's close enough. Oh, yeah. This is where the game gets freaking awesome. And there's one of my favorite characters. Good. Do your spear shot. There we go. Spear shot time. Boom. You just like kick that dude's ball like way far away, Titus. Good job. Fear shot. Boom. Who you play for? The Sander Kinnades. Uh oh. What do you say up here? Uh, I meant, forget that. Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin and my head's all fine. Be to the All right, back to practice. You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I can get something. Thanks, Waka. Waka, I, I love Waka. It reminds me of a Samoan from Hawaii. I, I met a lot of Samoans uh, when I went to Hawaii. It's been about five years ago, but yeah, it was really cool. I met some really cool people. You 
before any things get out of hand. What gets me though is we gotta suffer because of what some could call sin way back when. But we must always remember our sin. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku could both be lying. Why would they? Ha! Would you from the Santa Candy? That was a good one. Truthfully, I wouldn't want to I go just home. Live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. Okay, so let's go on here. I'm actually going to see. Okay, so that is going to conclude part two. Uh, I just checked and see how long we was recording, and it's been like 42 minutes. So it's it's actually quite ridiculously long. I didn't plan on making it this long, but sorry. But if you set through all of this, you and I want you guys from my Blitzball team, the some guys Blitzball. Yeah, you heard me. Okay, guys. Um, before I ramble on into oblivion, I want to say thanks for watching. And if you haven't, uh, give this video a like. It really helps me out. It encourages me, encourages me to make more videos just like this. And if you want to, hit subscribe to keep up with everything that I'm doing. And I will see you guys on the next episode.